reaching the age of adolescence introduction the stage of growth of a baby from birth to about 2 years of age is called infancy during this period a baby grows very fast the stage of growth of a child from 2 to 12 years is called childhood during this period children grow in size and weight at a regular pace there follows in all mammals a period in which the gonads reproductive glands of both sexes are in active until they are activated by gonadotropins hormones from the pituitary to bring about the final maturation of the reproductive system this period of final maturation is known as adolescence it is also called puberty although puberty is strictly defined as the period when the endocrine gametogenic functions of the gonads have first developed to the point where the reproduction is possible puberty a child keeps growing from the day he or she is born the growth of a child into a mature individual involves puberty puberty is that period when a child begins to mature biologically psychologically socially and cognitively this process may vary in duration from person to person this is the time when a child acquires those characteristics that would define him or her sexually puberty leads into an adolescence puberty ends when an adolescent reaches reproductive maturity puberty is the onset of sexual maturity it is marked by the development of secondary sex characteristics adolescence the period as the world health organization defines when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence in other words it can be said to be the transitional period between childhood and adulthood the world health organization defines adolescence as the period of life between 11 and 19 years of age since adolescents are often referred to as teenagers as it generally covers the teens adolescence in girls generally occurs a year before the boys changes taking place during puberty puberty is very important phase of life there are many changes taking place during puberty they are given on the next page increase in height there is sudden increase in height during this period it is due to the elongation of bones this surge in growth lasts for 2 to 3 years initially it is seen that girls grow faster than boys by the age of 17 or 18 both the boys and girls reach their maximum height change in voice voice undergoes a considerable change during this period boys tend to have low pitched voice while girls high pitched the change is more prominent in boys due to the growth in size and strengthening of voice box the voice box protrudes out as adam's apple active skin glands the sweat glands as well as sebaceous glands become more active during this period resulting into acne and underarm odor the hormone progesterone from ovary in females also has some role in this changes in body shape apart from the growth in height there are other changes taking place like the change in the shape of the body the girls tend to put on weight near the hips and below their waist the boys on the other hand start having wider shoulders and their body tends to be more muscular growth in the breasts of the girls also occurs during this period growth of body hair growth of hair occurs under the armpits and in the pubic region boys tends to develop hair on the chest have a beard and mustaches development of sex organs sex organs in both boys and girls develop completely during this period boys start producing sperms while girls start producing ovum mental intellectual and emotional maturity adolescents reach the stage when they are mentally mature they spend a lot of time thinking this is the period when the brain is quite active 
However, at times, adolescent finds it difficult to adjust to the changes taking place. However, they should realize that these are natural changes. Cause of change in puberty These changes are controlled by hormones. Hormones are the chemicals secreted by endocrine ductless glands. Different hormones are responsible for different changes. When a child attains puberty, the pituitary gland secretes hormones which determines the reproductive organs of males and females. Changes in boys is due to the hormone testosterone. Estrogen brings about reproductive changes in females. Hormones and Reproductive Functions The hormones released by the endocrine glands are released into the bloodstream. They are carried to the particular body parts, which is the target site. These organs then respond to the hormones. Endocrine system and hormones. We have two types of glands in our body. Exocrine glands with ducts and endocrine glands, ductless glands. A gland which secretes its products into the bloodstream with the help of ducts is called exocrine gland. A gland which does not have a duct and secretes its product directly into the bloodstream is called endocrine gland. So, endocrine glands are also called ductless glands. There are large number of endocrine glands in human body. Hormones are chemical substances secreted by endocrine glands in the body. These hormones are carried to the target sites through the circulation of blood. These are very important as they control growth, development, behavior and reproduction. Important Endocrine Glands Pituitary It is located just below the hypothalamus in the brain. It is called the master gland because it controls the functioning of all the glands. It secretes growth hormone which controls the development of bones and muscles. A person having less growth hormones becomes dwarf. Physiologically, the pituitary gland is divisible into two distinct portions, the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary. Six very important hormones are secreted by anterior pituitary and two important hormones are secreted by the posterior pituitary. The hormones from the anterior pituitary play major roles in the control of metabolic functions throughout the body. Six hormones from anterior pituitary are Growth hormone, it promotes growth. Adrenocorticotropin, it controls secretion and functional activities of adrenocortical hormones. Thyroid stimulating hormone, it regulates metabolic rate. Prolactin, it promotes mammary gland development and milk production. Follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. They control growth of gonads and their reproductive activities. The two hormones from posterior pituitary are antidiuretic hormone, vasopressin, it regulates water in the body, oxytocin, it plays an important role in lactation and parturition. Almost all secretion by the pituitary is controlled by either hormonal or nervous signals from the hypothalamus. Secretion from the posterior pituitary is controlled by nerve fibers originating in the hypothalamus and terminating in the posterior pituitary. Thyroid It is located in the tracheal region. It releases thyroxine hormone. Its function is to control the rate of metabolism growth and respiration. Its deficiency in children slows down the growth and mental development. This is known as cretinism. Its deficiency in adults causes a disease called goiter. Too much of thyroxine increases the rate of respiration and makes the person lose weight. The thyroid gland which is located immediately below the larynx on either side of and anterior to the trachea secretes a significant hormone, thyroxine. This hormone has profound effect on the metabolic rate of the body. It also secretes one more hormone 
called calcitonin which is important for calcium metabolism complete lack of thyroid secretion usually causes the basal metabolic rate to fall about 40% below normal and extreme excess of thyroid secretion can cause the basal metabolic rate to rise as high as 60 to 100% above normal thyroid secretion is controlled by thyroid stimulating hormones secreted by anterior pituitary gland adrenal the adrenal glands which lie at the superior poles of two kidneys are each composed of two prominent parts the adrenal medulla and the adrenal cortex the adrenal medulla is functionally related to the sympathetic nervous system and it is a source of the hormones adrenaline and noradrenaline in response to sympathetic stimulation the adrenal cortex secretes corticosteroids two major corticosteroids are mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids the mineralocorticoids regulate electrolytes of the body fluid particularly sodium and potassium in addition to these small amount of sex hormones are secreted especially androgenic hormones which exhibit the same effect in the body as the male sex hormone testosterone the glucocorticoids have an important role in increasing blood glucose concentration a good example of mineralocorticoids is aldosterone and that of glucocorticoids is cortisol pancreas the pancreas is a mixed gland of endocrine and exocrine functions it is situated in our body in the loop of duodenum the endocrine part is islet of langerhans which secretes the hormone insulin which controls the sugar metabolism in the body the exocrine part is pancreatic acne that secretes pancreatic digestive juices deficiency of insulin in the body causes diabetes the mammalian pancreas plays essential roles in digestion and metabolism the digestive role is accomplished by the exocrine glandular portion of the pancreas which produces digestive enzymes and the bicarbonate ions the endocrine pancreas consists of small masses or islets of endocrine cells scattered among the acinar tissue these pancreatic islets secrete insulin glucagon and somatostatin insulin is hypoglycemic and glucagon is hyperglycemic both the hormones produce effects on lipid and protein metabolism the somatostatin is growth hormone release inhibiting hormone parathyroid glands the physiology of parathyroid hormone and of the hormone calcitonin from thyroid is closely related to calcium and phosphate metabolism the function of vitamin d and the formation of bone and teeth one hormone secreted by parathyroid gland is parathormone pth there are four parathyroid glands in human beings these are located immediately behind the thyroid glands increased activity of parathyroid gland causes rapid absorption of calcium salts from the bones resulting into hypercalcemia in the extracellular fluid the decreased activity of parathyroid gland causes hypocalcemia often with resultant tetany calcium metabolism calcitonin from thyroid deposits calcium in bones from extracellular fluid whereas the parathormine from parathyroid gland brings calcium from bone to extracellular fluid as per the requirement of the body rickets rickets occurs mainly in children as a result of calcium or phosphate deficiency in the extracellular fluid ordinarily rickets is due to lack of vitamin d rather than to lack of calcium or phosphorus in the diet if child is properly exposed to sunlight then the skin will form vitamin d the best source of calcium in our diet is milk and milk products sesame is another rich source of calcium diabetes mellitus sweet urine and diabetes insipidus tasteless urine diabetes mellitus is due to deficiency of insulin glucose sugar appears in urine diabetes insipidus is due to deficiency of anti diuretic hormone thus 
less water is retained by body hence more water is given out with urine so the urine is dilute in diabetes mellitus the level of sugar rises in blood testes male gonads a pair of testes lodged in a sac like structure called scrotum each testes has large number of seminiferous tubules the germ cells are present in these tubules which finally result in the formation of sperms in between the tubules are present leydig cells interstitial cells which are source of male hormone testosterone the functioning of testes is under the control of anterior pituitary hormones namely fsh and lh icsh ovaries female gonads a pair of ovaries is present in the abdominal cavity dorsally just after the last rib there are a large number of ovarian follicles in the ovary they are developing follicles one follicle in a month in case of female becomes mature under the influence of anterior pituitary hormone fsh follicle stimulating hormone this mature follicle is also called graffen follicle it has horseshoe shaped cavity called antrum mature follicle is a source of female hormone estrogen and now it is ready for ovulation the ovulation takes place mid cycle under the influence of anterior pituitary hormone lh luteinizing hormone after ovulation the graffen follicle is converted to corpus luteum which is a source of another female sex hormone called progesterone the corpus luteum has fixed life span after which it is converted to corpus albicans the hormones estrogen and progesterone are responsible for all reproductive activities of a female other changes during puberty there are some characters that appear due to the release of sex hormones they are known as secondary sexual characters in case of girls the secondary sexual characters are enlargement of breasts widening of the pelvic girdle and growth of hair in the pelvic region and armpits in case of boys the characters are deepening of voice caused by the enlargement of larynx growth of hair on the face pubic region and armpits enlargement of penis and scrotum and increase in muscles reproductive phase during puberty males and females are capable of reproduction they start producing sperm and ovum respectively the reproductive capacity lasts for a longer period in males than in females in females the reproductive phase starts from 9 to 12 years and lasts till 45 to 50 years the production of mature ova starts at this period one mature ova is released at a time every 25 to 30 days during this period the wall of the uterus becomes thick and waits to receive a fertilized egg in case fertilization takes place pregnancy occurs if not the inner lining of the uterus along with blood vessels is shed off this causes bleeding in women called menstruation the age 11 to 13 years when the menstruation starts in human females is known as menarche the menstrual cycle continues till the age of 45 to 50 years and stops after that this is termed as menopause sex determination after fertilization the question arises that whether the fertilized egg is a male or a female what is it that determines the sex of the child The sex of the child is determined by the chromosomes present in the fertilized egg. All human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nuclei of their cells. Two of these chromosomes are sex chromosomes namely X and Y. A female has two X chromosomes while a male has one X and one Y. The unfertilized egg always has one X chromosome. If this X chromosome fuses with X chromosome of the sperm the result would be a baby girl If on the other hand it fuses with Y chromosome the result would be a baby boy Lifestyle of adolescents Adolescents need to follow a proper lifestyle 
to cope up with the changes taking place this includes proper nutrition physical exercise and personal hygiene they should have a balanced diet containing carbohydrates fats and vitamins physical exercises sports games swimming are good for health personal hygiene is necessary to keep away from diseases frequent changing of undergarments proper bath cleanliness during menstrual cycle are demanded to keep oneself healthy say no to drugs and alcohol adolescence is a period of transition between childhood and adulthood the young adolescents often develop a sense of insecurity and confusion in this state of confusion they become the victims of drugs and alcohol and get habituated it ruins their health and happiness you must have heard about aids which is caused by a dangerous virus hiv it destroys the natural defense mechanism of the body and makes it prone to diseases the virus can pass on to a normal person from an infected person by sharing the syringes used for injecting drugs it can also be transmitted to an infant from the infected mother through her milk it can also be transmitted through sexual contact with the person infected with hiv to prevent aids use disposable syringes have safe and protected sex and be faithful to your partner get blood from registered blood bank hiv infected mother should not breastfeed her baby